All right. Part two of the final dungeon. You notice too, Varsina is now level 12. It's kind of everyone gaining their uh, ultimate abilities is also just being leveled up to level 12. So if you haven't caught up to level 12, it's cool. You just get it at the end of the game anyway. This looks like a dead end. Come on, let's... Hey, Talana, let's go. It's me. What? Hey, Talana! Come on, we need to focus on finding Maestro. Suvin, these statues look like me. So? What do you mean, so? What's gotten into you, Suvin? How blind are you going to become in your hunt for Maestro? Blind? There are statues that look like you, so what? How does that help us find and kill Maestro? What good would it do to stand here and puzzle over them? They don't look like her, Suvin. There we go, a voice of reason. They are her, Suvin. Look. So, great, what does that mean? You really don't think this is odd? These could have been recently placed. But given the amount of dust on them, I'd say not. What does it mean? Why are they here? Why would these monsters build statues of me? How would they know I would be... It's not important to Lana. Nobody cares why Maestro cursed you. And this response, a whole bunch of Talana's section is completely different depending on whether you chose to save her or kill her. I care. I know you think I'm just a monster, but I thought clerics were supposed to be better people. Better than what? Like I said before, you're just as bad as Marion. You've lost sight of whatever goodness you had in you, and now all you care about is your revenge. That's all I have left! You have no idea what I've lost. No idea? I lost my friends, my hometown, my humanity. Don't you dare tell me I don't know about loss. Talana, I don't want to hear it. Suvin, hey, Talana. What happened? Where did she go? Where am I? Why can't I see anything? Suvin? Farsina? Can anyone hear me? I can. Hello, Talana. Maestro. What's going on? I wanted to talk. Just you and me. About what? Why are you here? What? We're here for you. I'm helping Suvin. <laughs> we both know better than that. You've known all along he's just seeking revenge. You've been helping him out of obligation for sparing your life. But you know he didn't want to in the first place. You only live because I intervened. So that can't be why you're here. So maybe you believe me about Galarand. I don't care about Galarand. No, I suppose you wouldn't. That's really just for Suvin, isn't it? So the question remains. What are you really doing here? You couldn't go back to Aelin, but you didn't know what else to do. He was a reason for existing, yes? As long as you didn't think too hard about where you were going or why, life would be simple. Let someone else take the reins and lead you. Betrayal cuts deep, doesn't it? No raging retort? No angry insult? No bitter denial? That's Suvin's way now, not mine. <laughs> I couldn't have put it better myself. What an astute observation. I can give you a purpose again. What? With Galaran's death, I can give you a purpose, a role, a place in life, something where you can be in control. I don't want your purpose. So what do you want? I want to go home. That's what I'd be doing for you, giving you a home. I mean Aelin, you bastard! The one you ripped away from me! I see. You want to go back to Aelin? That's what I just said, isn't it? Very well. Well, something has to be done. What if she comes back? If that happens, we'll just have to kill her. 
Aelin. It's her! You got a lot of nerve showing your face again. What? But hang on, I don't even know how I got here. Talana. Victor! What's going on? You killed Marion. She weren't exactly the nicest person, but she saved us from you. I even give her a chance to explain. Explain nothing! You know how many people we lost because of her? But it wasn't my fault. Shut up! Like I said, if she comes back, we kill her. That's not the only choice we have. Victor, I know you're her kin, but you stay out of this. We're not safe while she's alive. But I don't want to hurt you. Just like you didn't want to hurt Elise, or Luke, or May, or Marion? I don't know what kind of black magic you're using to just appear out of thin air, but we're not letting you go this time. Stop it! I don't want to fight you! Come on, beast. Show us your true self. This is my true self. For the astute among you, you notice her TP has been growing. Stop! I'm warning you! You gonna try and kill us now? We ain't soldiers, but damned if we didn't pick up a little know-how while making weapons and armor. Ivan! Eric! Stop! She's not hurting anyone! Stay out of this, Victor! I won't let you hurt me one more time! Then do something! Stop hiding behind that fake innocence! That does it! I notice they're really not doing nearly enough to actually hurt her. Hmm, Ivan's missing health because he's got toughness on. Well, let's fuck up Ivan. I mean, these guys don't stand a chance against a fucking werewolf, though. Like, this is supposed to be a very one-sided battle. No! Talana! Talana, what have you done? I... They attacked me. I had to defend myself. But that's Ivan! How could you... You see, Victor? Like Ivan said, she's a monster. We have to kill her to protect ourselves. No! Just... Just leave me alone! Ivan, you idiot! I even helped you tan some of the hides you used to make armor. How could you turn on me like that? And Victor. And this stupid forsaken form! Wait a minute. This doesn't look like Aelin Wood. I don't recognize this clearing at all. General. Who's there? General Talona. What? What are you talking about? Show yourself! What do you want? General Talana, you've finally come. We've been waiting for you. What are you talking about? Talana! Victor. No, he can't see me like this anymore. I will... Delay them. What? Who? <laughs> hey, get back here! What the hell is going on? Alright, and we will be back with the woods of Talana's dungeon.